That's what I'm talking about. As soon as I get done mentioning it, it gives me it. Yo and what is going on guys, it's your boy Rekchu and welcome back to another video. Right now as you can see we are back on Brutal OS, which is of course not my server but I am the community manager here so if you guys are really looking for a place to see me, hang out with me, maybe do some bossing, check out all the events, make sure and come check out Brutal OS today. We have raids, here we have so many uh, different bosses you guys can kill, we have event bosses, we have so much content here and I really do think you guys should come and check it out with us at least come and give it a try just in case anybody was wondering like what player count we average we usually average around 25 to 30 but on the first day we released we had 42 players online three days after that we came back and uh, we had 47 online so that's actually our peak right now 47 players i even have a screenshot to prove that so this server has plenty of potential we just released a new event boss that drops torva we've been dedicating plenty of hours into getting all the bugs out of the game and it's been working really well. We've gotten just about every single one of them out of the game. So big shout out to all the players who have been helping us find them bugs as well. It really does mean a lot. Like I said, we still do have a couple of more, but we should have all those out of the game really soon. We're trying to make this game as fun as possible for all the players to come and join with us. Quickly before I do go any further, I do want to mention today's giveaway though of six different All vs. 1 V3 boxes. There are going to be three lucky winners, each of you receiving two of them. So make sure and enter right now by following the rules on the screen. Like the video, comment down below your brutal OS IGN, and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you would turn on the post notification bell to never miss an upload a new video. And let's get to it. Okay, so there are only a couple of places where you can receive these boxes. You can either donate for them. If you look right here on the donation store, we can go to the rare tab, and we can see the all versus one V3 boxes are 250 each. So a $10 bond is for 200. So if you open a $10 bond, you'll get 200 donator points. So it's pretty much like $12.50 for each of these all versus one v3 boxes but another place you can get them if you come over here to this teleportation menu at home and go to mini games we have like three different all versus one there's a regular a v2 and a v3 the v3 has like 69 different waves and you're taking on like every single boss in the game you're taking on all the bosses from like wilderness god wars it's definitely a challenge but if you teleport here you'll be able to notice that it's multi so you can't do it with other players which makes it very interesting i guess it definitely helps you out all right here we go let's just hop right into it we are on the alt account which is box opening it's an easy way to see all the loot and afterwards i can just delete the account i'm going to quickly open up these two just to show you what you can get we have a nice little interface here we can get twisted bow uh, dens bulwark elder maul kodai a ton of potential loot even a lime whip i'm going to open up the first one so wish us luck i even like this interface it has like different colors for the rarity you can uh, receive but we can get the first one okay 500 dragon uh, javelins i'll take it not too bad okay now the second one we got ourselves a dragon fire shield now we have 100 more to open i'm gonna open up all these real quick hopefully uh, we can actually get a twisted bow maybe a couple of limes i would really hope to see some really juicy loot but i mean we're opening up 100 of these why couldn't we get something really juicy i've opened them up before and the loot here is pretty insane and of course we just updated them so we can get better loot out of them now also we added some more items so really you don't get like any crap loot in here as you can see like the worst is like one mil <laughs> as i say that we get one mil okay well uh yeah well you can see we can get some crap loot in here now we're talking a toxic blowpipe empty we can get an empty one and we can also get one that's already charged but it really doesn't make a difference there i will take an uncharged or a charged one elder mall plocks okay there's the full ancestral we just got a body so very nice reward. Elijah Spirit Shield. We already have the Spectral and Elijah. Occult Necklace. Okay. Come on, Den's Bulwark. Oh, no. We were so close. And then we get a Bando's Hilt. The Dragon Hunter Crossbow. Thank you very much. That's great. 50 Mithril Seeds. We can use these for gambling. Just in case anybody was wondering, we do have gambling on here. We can Flower Poker, Dice Stool, Host, whatever you would like to do if you would like to be a gambler. Oh, we got the Gatter Hammer. Let's see what this bad bitch looks like. Let's go. That's actually pretty juicy. I'm not going to lie. It's not the best reward, but it's definitely juicy. Ancestral hat. All we need is the bottoms now. And we have the full set. Banjo, what the fuck are you doing here, bro? You ain't getting none of my rewards. Get away, you bum. You bum. That's all I'm going to call him. But the first inventory was actually uh, pretty nice. But we didn't get a lime whip. We didn't get a twisted bow. All we got was the blue howling mask. We got a toxic blowpipe. Almost the full ancestral set. 
Barracks, Armor Set, Serdom God Sword, Archer Ring, as well as an Elijah. Spectral, a 1 mil, we got the Tresnus Ring. Not bad for the first inventory, but we still have a lot to go. There's one of the cosmetic rewards, Santa Glove. Let's see what these look like. Yeah, pretty fucking basic, but yeah, there's something. Okay, our luck just turned around significantly. We got the Elder Maul, Armadillo Crossbow, and a Lion Whip. Like, back to back to back. The odds of that happening were so slim. Can't complain about that, though. Damn, look how close we were to that Kodai. Hell yes, boys. We got some Dragon Claws. I will take that all day, every day. There's that Den's Bulwark I've been looking for. As I said before, we can receive the regular Toxic Blowpipe, and there it is. Finally, we got the Kodai Wand. Jesus, I've been teased with this item so many times. Like, I've gotten so many rewards with the Kodai right beside it, but... Finally, it gives me it. Bruh, why do I keep getting so many of these ancestral hats? Why can I not just get the rope bottom? I want the set, not like multiple in one. Oh yeah, that's snazzy. Very snazzy. We have the full set of ancestral now. Okay, am I ever going to get that twisted bow? I've opened up like 75 of these things and I've still yet to get that twisted bow. Come on, please, give me the twisted bow, brutal OS. That's what I'm talking about. As soon as I get done mentioning it, it gives me it. The twisted bow, the gods are on my side. Thank you, boys. Thank you. Damn, son. Is this a joke? We got a Twisted Bow, Arcane, and then a Lion Whip back to back to back. This inventory is pretty mad. We just got a Bow Sword. Now, I'm not too sure if you guys remember, but like, in the older RSPSs, they used to always have Bow Swords. Oh my god, another Lion Whip. A Lion Whip. Bow Sword, a Lion Whip. Got us some Santa Boots. Give me the Kodai. Or not. Okay, we got a Royal Crown. Hands down, that's the best inventory we've had so far. We got a Twisted Bow. We got two Lion Whips. We got so many really nice rewards in this inventory. Our luck right now, boys. An Amulet of Torture, final one. Everybody cross the fingers. Let's call the Dragon Claws. Oh, come on. Why not the Dragon Claws? The Kuril set. All right, so I tried organizing the bank the best I could, and this is what it looks like after opening up all the boxes. We got 1 million coins. RIP, of course, probably the worst item we got. We got 100 Mithril Seeds, Bandage Chest Plate, Dragon Axe, Dragon Claws, Armadillo Helmet. We got the Mummy's Body, Robin Hood Hat, two Bronze Mystery Boxes, the Skeleton Leggings. We got the Elysian, five Spectrals, two Arcanes. We got a Blessed Spirit Shield, six Dragon of Fire Shields, Odium Ward, Den's Bulwark. We got the Krills, Torags, and Varax set. Three Lime Whips, which we pretty much got those like back to back. We had one item in between, so we got very lucky with those. Two uh, Dragon Warhammers, a Katana, Samurai and Spear, a Seradom and Sword. We got three uh, Seradom and God Swords, a Bandos God Sword, a two Armadillo God Swords, Seradom and Hilt, Bandos Hilt, Zamorak and Hilt, Elder Maul, Bow Sword, a three uh, Toxic Blowpipes, including one down here, uh, which is empty. We have a Dragon Hunter Crossbow, Armadillo Crossbow, a Twisted Bow. Uh, yo, we got very lucky there, and I'm very excited we got the Twisted Bow. Three uh, Staff of the Deads. Trident of the Seas, Kodai Wand, we got the full Ancestral set. Finally, boys, we got two tops, we got four hats, and of course, we only got one row bottom. We got two Berserker Ring Eyes, two Archer Ring Eyes, we got a Warrior Ring Eye, Ring of the God's Eye, Trestness Ring Eye, Amulet of Torture, Amulet of Fury, three Occult Necklaces, two uh, Spectral Sigils, one Arcane Sigil, 500 Dragon Javelins, and of course, you can see the rest. We got two uh, Blue Halloween Masks, Santa Hat, we got an Easter egg, some healer icons, so very lucky today, guys, including a Twisted Buckler. So, uh, yo, these rewards here are very OP. With that being said, I would definitely recommend trying out the All vs. One minigame. Once again, it's not really recommended to try it by yourself. It's pretty hard. I would definitely recommend a team. But once again, you saw all the rewards I could receive, so it's it's obviously worth it. And like I said earlier, they are in the donator store. Make sure you guys do keep in mind that every $10 bond you open, you receive yourself 200 Donator points and each of these boxes once again is 250 donator points the donation store is inside the bank here If you would like to explore it. We have a uh, many uh, different stores We have a regular one a misc and a rare we have some uh, pretty unique rewards in here Like I said guys, we have the lion whip we have the site the vitter which is super freaking OP and this thing right now is going for like $150 so that alone can tell you that it's really OP make sure and come check us out guys It would mean a lot to me and of course the players here, they're all pretty much wrecked you gang, so make sure and come check us out. Also make sure and enter in today's giveaway of the 6 all versus 1 v3 boxes. Remember there are going to be 3 lucky winners, each of you receiving 2. Make sure and follow the rules on the screen, like the video, comment down below your brutal OSIGN, and subscribe to the channel. Other than that, I'll see you guys in game, because you know I'm going to be online, so make sure you guys come and check us out, and goodbye, I'll see you all tomorrow.